What about circumcision? This is one of the newer tools in our armamentarium, although circumcision certainly is not a new thing. Over 40 observational studies have suggested an association between higher circumcision rates in certain countries in Africa and lower rates of HIV acquisition. Between 2005 and 2007, three randomized controlled trials demonstrated that voluntary male medical circumcision reduced HIV acquisition in heterosexual males by at least 60%. The number needed to treat is between 5 to 15 individuals. In other words, 5 to 15 circumcisions must be performed to eliminate one new case of HIV acquisition. In 2007, reviewing this evidence, the World Health Organization recommended voluntary male medical circumcision as a part of a combination HIV prevention treatment approach in regions that have high heterosexual epidemics, high rates of HIV, and low prevalence of circumcision. They identified 14 priority countries and said that up to 3.4 million HIV infections could be averted by 2025, which would save 16.5 billion U.S. dollars if scale-up was rapid and reached 